Hello everyone, it's Melissa Davis from By Me Me With Love. How is everyone doing on this Friday night? My hands are a mess. My desk is a mess. I've been working. And I need to get this video up. So, I'm not even taking time to clean my hands. Um, I'm coming on tonight to share with you guys what I did for hashtag artisan journal prompt 2024 and that is a hashtag hosted by patty of life with patty and i've just had a blast with this i think most people have uh, she gives us a prompt every sunday and then we have the week to use that prompt and do a two-page layout in our journal. Um, I've enjoyed every week of this. Patty has been an amazing host. She has welcomed everyone. And if you'd like to join, it's open. Come on in. But last Sunday, sun, yeah, Patty's prompt was green. Now, Normally, guys, I would have no issue with this, except if you all remember right, I had just done this March page, and I did it with two hashtags. I did March, which was Patty's hashtag, or Patty's prompt, and I did Green, which was Martha's prompt for Mate Mart with make art with Martha so I was a little stumped because I was like green again oh my gosh I don't know if I can get inspired so at once I heard Patty's prompt everyone that I talked to until I got ready to do it I would say tell me green things things that are completely green and, of course, people wore grass, da, 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 and I was like, no, tell me green things that has nothing to do with nature. And I was thrilled when Linda of Linda's Creative Life said, the green palace, the green palace where the Wizard of Oz lives. So, guys, I painted the green palace. And I'm pretty happy with it. And let me show you what I did. Oh, it's backwards. I have to, my pages are not in order because I have to wait till they are dry enough. Or I have to determine whether enough the page I'm using is strong enough to have heavy mediums on both sides. So, on this one, I had to go backwards. And here is my Emerald Palace, guys. I started out with gesso, a heavy gesso. Um, of course, they have heavy. Um, ignore this mess. This is where I made um, red texture paste. This is the heavy gesso. And then you've got that kind of gesso, which is the basic acrylic. But this is very heavy and thick. So I used a coat of this and a coat of this because I wanted a com completely clean palette to start with. And then I did my sky and my ground out here. And then I drew my palace. Um... Emerald City, I mean. Then I then I drew my city, and <coughs> excuse me. Then of course, um, and after I drew my green palace, I went ahead and watercolored the all the towers and buildings seen from the outside of Emerald City. And then um, I used, this was completely done with watercolor, and then I put on some little flowers everywhere because the 
uh, green looks so empty. And you can tell here I've used some gems. These are jade green gems. And it's like they're, you know, sparkling. And then you see the gold paint on the towers, on the yellow brick rolls. Um, see all the, this is gold paint. Now I'll hold it up a little closer so you all can see how I did my, painting but I do like the way it shimmers isn't that pretty so yeah guys that's my hashtag artisan journal prompt 2024 for I don't know what week the 13th week or something so from Virginia we'll be talking to you soon hop over and tell Patty hi bye bye